three, two, one. This is the Phantom of Many Topics. Today is February 26th, 2022. We are in East Mesa, Arizona. We are evaluating this brilliant painting of what is almost a British flag, but not exactly. You can see that about 75% of it is a British flag, but then there are some other little details on it, which we shall examine and discuss why it is what it is, okay? If you look closely, let's go up. There is three large letters in the lower right-hand corner, and it says L-O-N. Now, if we're using an educated guess, we would say that that would mean London, because London is in the southeast corner of the British Isle, right? And um, if you look at to the uh, left of that thing in the middle, which is green, and we'll discuss that in a moment, but the one we want to discuss now is the yellow thing with the green dots and perhaps it is a perhaps it represents the underground train map of where you can go to see the West End uh, London theater district and you know like for example you can see Phantom of the Opera or The Lion King or uh, Les Mis or Frozen or some of the other plays that are showing in the uh, West End. Uh, perhaps it represents Heathrow Airport and uh, the noise pollution in the uh, western suburbs of London. Who knows what it means? It could mean many things. That's what it means. This is a brilliant painting because it's like not only is it regular art but it is also a little bit abstract as well so it's like semi abstract you know in the uh in the way that uh the impressionists of the early 1900s were trying to go for but didn't perfect until later on it's uh semi abstract now what is that thing in the uh the middle there that green thing now someone said it could mean the seven dials if you were talking about you know the west end theme but Where's the seventh dial? There's only six legs to it. I think perhaps maybe it's a, it could be a marijuana leaf. Uh, maybe it's saying that uh, the London area is more cosmopolitan, is more multicultural, is more liberal than the rest of the, uh, the rest of the UK, which is more conservative. Of course, you know that in the uh, London area, they did vote for, uh, to stay in the uh, European Union, while the rest of uh, the UK mainly voted to uh, to leave. Well, except for Scotland, but that's a different issue. Uh, okay, so now we have the pound sign on the right. Now that's clearly an indication, I think, of the um, the pound sign is clearly an indication of the financial district which is in the eastern part of London and in the Docklands area, Canary Wharf and so forth. Uh, that's where all the financial district uh, things are occurring. So I think that's what it means in the painting. Now what are all these yellow dots? Yellow dots are everywhere along the uh, different lines. Now I'm thinking maybe it could mean uh, the different types of people, like I said. The UK is becoming much more multicultural, and perhaps we are talking about um, different peoples, uh, multicultural diversity, and so forth in the UK that's been occurring. It's no longer just a homogenous society, but you have uh, people from East Asia, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, you have people from South Asia, uh, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and uh, you even have some Aussies returning. You got Canadians, uh, you got Africans from uh, Nigeria buying large chunks of the Mayfair area. Uh, same thing with the Chinese. So who knows? It could mean the different uh, types of people. But then you see the rest of the painting has uh, 
Well, okay, so up in the upper left-hand corner, it says uh, 1916. Now, that probably refers to um, the uh, Irish independence of 1916. You know, you've heard it in the Cranberry song, Zombie, where they talk about the Irish independence. But do note that uh, in the northern uh, western part, you know, of... I'm sorry, northeastern part of the Irish island is uh, several counties that is called Northern Ireland and it belongs to the uh, United Kingdom and they call themselves Unionists there. And uh, that's where, you know, in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, 90s, you had uh, the Belfast uh, Troubles, the time of troubles in Belfast. So maybe that's what it is. And then you have these words, never, and then it says Niagara, but if you spell that backwards, A-G-A-I-N, it's again. So maybe never again, but why is it spelled backwards on this side? Perhaps it's because up in the this part, uh, did the Vikings read from right to left or left to right? Who knows? But uh, perhaps that has something to do with it because the Viking invasion, you know, if you look at the direction of where, I'm just gonna use my hand, right? So if, if the Norwegians and the Danes came from this direction to attack uh, the island, then if you spelled again in that way, so maybe we're talking about never again, as in um, some sort of um, saying that the British Isles will never be invaded again, uh, or maybe it's some sort of uh, conservative saying that uh, right now the island is being invaded by a lot of different kinds of people um, from different cultures. Uh, who knows? Uh, but this painting is extraordinary. Is extraordinary. And as a uh, as an art appraisal person, I would say it's worth at least five hundred dollars. I think it's worth at least five hundred dollars. What about you? What do you think it's worth? Uh, type in your comments below. Uh, talk about some of the elements of this painting. Uh, talk about what you think it uh, should be appraised for. Maybe it's uh, if you take it to Sotheby Auction House or Christie's Auction House, uh, perhaps it could fetch even more than that. Um, but it definitely deserves to be hung in some um, art uh, house perhaps like the uh, the Tate Modern or uh, locally uh, maybe the uh, the uh, Phoenix uh, Art Museum who knows who knows only time will tell what will happen to this painting and it is a uh, sign it I know it's hard to read but it does say the word phantom it says the word phantom so I wonder who could have created this incredibly beautiful painting I have no idea but it does say phantom at the uh, very bottom although it's kind of a uh, um, it's kind of a little bit hard to read but it does say phantom so uh, anyways maybe is that a coincidence or I don't know so we'll have to see in the future uh, this is the phantom of many topics signing off thank you for watching please uh, hit like and subscribe to the channel and once you subscribe, hit that notification button. Thank you.